they are on tour again and it is it is it was such a great news to see that joel you guys are out there you're in the uh, midwest right now you will be here in tampa a week from tomorrow rocking amelie arena and it is a uh, promise to be another great show it is always a great show i've seen them in small settings big settings and uh, they never uh never cease to amaze four grammys now more songs even in the middle of all this together just powerful stuff new songs mm-hmm. like relate for god is with us Joe, what how, what is the structure i mean obviously we're coming out of like this crazy 18 plus months how do you put together a show is it different and kind of like oh, i got we got to reach differently kind of understanding where people are at now it's like how do you how do how, do, how does how does relate to this tour going to be mm. well great question and brandon it's great to be with you um in my lovely dressing room everyone by the way just look at it there's there's a indiana look, look for wayne baby oh yeah there it is um man we've asked a lot of those questions you know i, I will say this the it's been a very, you know, the last year and a half has been hard for the whole world. Um, but inside difficulty, there's always some kind of opportunity. And, and what it has afforded us is not only to be just with our family, which is the first time since I was married that I've just had that much time at home with my with Mariah, which has been marvelous. But also, um, it afforded us the opportunity to be really creative. You know, we, we went back into the studio um, for we, we recorded a whole Christmas record last year. And then we've gone back into the studio this year and we've written and recorded a whole new album. Um, and we've really taken a lot of um, stock of where we find ourselves, where the world finds themselves. So Relate the Tour is really a, a sort of a question based on what the last year and a half has been. And that, that question is, hey, if um, you know we've faced political, uh, you know, division with place, racial tension, you know, physical isolation. How do we um, show compassion and empathy to um, someone that looks and thinks and acts or maybe votes different from us? um, And not just tolerate them, but actually now that we have this kind of, for the first time in our lifetime, this universal suffering that every one of us on the planet, no matter the country, creed, or color, we've all felt it. How do we use that going forward to to be more united than divided? And so this tour is really kind of, with, with some curtains falling from the ceilings and elevators rising into the roof and all the rest of it, this, ele- this, this, this tour is sort of begging that question. Um, and it's been actually really fun. We just had the first show last night been really fun to craft a show um come slowly but surely coming out of that that sort of terrible season for humanity and finding our way forward being part of that conversation you know well it's great to see and he didn't mention it folks but i guarantee there'll be drums lots of drums more than ever we literally more than ever how could you have more you have enough people to play more drums well no we've just we just like our one of our guys, Garrett, who loves like bongos and congos and like world instruments. We just ran out to Guitar Center like three days ago and got like a whole load more drums. So there will be more drums than ever. I sorry, I missed that bit, but Brandon, you're right. Yeah, they'll be there. More drums, more drums. That's amazing. Drums. Uh, just uh, great stuff. Great to great to see. Um, again, it's a October sixteenth, the week from. Uh, tomorrow in our recording date and uh, they are touring all over the country we'll put a link in the uh, descriptions for you so you can uh, catch them obviously through the midwest and the south but then they'll be uh they'll be all over the place on this uh east side of the country up until november you go out in louisiana and texas for a bit and 